Tēnā koe. My name is Yvonne Terangi Kahiki Pidwa. Uh, I'm standing this year in Rotorua District Council. It's an exciting prospect. I'm a little nervous coming from uh, seven years of uh, working in the claims settlement environment, but I think those are the skills and expertise uh, that are needed around the council table at this time. And I say that because of the amount of uh, government reforms uh, that are happening at this time, because what we know is that although the laws sit uh, at the wider area of the land, when you need things implemented, it's through working with your regional council and your district council. Council. That's how it feeds back um, down to the real, where the real world is. I'm born and bred in Rotorua. Uh, my parents, Mehana and Marcia Tuhakaraina, are also born and bred uh, Rotorua people. Why do I love this city? My family is here. My history is here. My whakapapa is here. My friends are here. Um, that sounds a little bit self-contained. It is and it isn't. I've been lucky enough to travel um, around the world with Ngāti Rangiwiwihi Kapahaka under the then tutelage of our current Deputy Mayor, Trevor Maxwell. He and his wife have left Ngāti Rangiwiwihi an amazing legacy and it brought a lot of us as young people into tourism. Tourism is one of the major uh, income earners for our district. Um, why have I gone there? Because there's been some sadness around the empty shops uh, in our central business district. That does concern me. But there's also an exciting element and it's about Rotorua finding the balance. The exciting element is the development of the mall and the new um, retail area out at, uh, gosh, east side. Um, because those are new innovations and sometimes those new innovations take a toll on, on the long term established businesses and with the new excitement you can lose focus. Uh, on, on, on the niche and the long established business. Walking around our streets just yesterday, a lot of young people, too many young people on our streets. Um, and what are they doing there? How can council help to change that? That's a difficult one because it gets into the social services area and there's a tendency of council in the past to say, oh no, that's central government's problem. It begins in the home, it begins with whānau, it begins with hapu and it begins with iwi. It begins with our um, whole of community families. It's all of us, it's not just the Māori problem, it's not just the Pākehā problem, it's actually a community in New Zealand problem. If there's one thing you wanted to achieve in three years on council, what would it be? More GDP, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? More GDP coming into our city, and our city having a bigger GDP contribution to um, our country.